Hello everyone. Canada's cities and towns offer travelers a diverse choice of experiences. From cosmopolitan centers to mountain resorts and maritime cities, determining the best places to visit may depend on your interest and the type of trip you're hoping to create. In the heart of the country is Toronto, Canada's biggest city and the highlight of Canada's art and cultural scene. Nearby, Niagara Falls is a must-see attraction for visitors to Canada that never disappoints. In the neighboring French-speaking province of Quebec, Montreal is known for fashion, culture and history. In the West, Vancouver and Victoria offer two very different perspectives on West Coast cities, but each has something unique to offer. Eastern Canada has a culture all of its own, with a rich maritime heritage and friendly people and scattered throughout the country are other popular cities and lesser known gems to explore. Now let's see the list of some of the best places to visit in Canada. Number 17. Winnipeg This thriving city in the prairies of central Canada may not be the first image that jumps to mind when thinking about the best places to visit in Canada. But if you are traveling in summer, Winnipeg is worth a stop. Surrounded by fields, many of which glow yellow in summer with canola or sunflowers, the city is surprisingly scenic. The forks at the confluence of the two rivers is a major tourist area with the huge pork market, restaurants and outdoor walking trails and is one of the first places tourists should visit. Also in this area is one of Canada's premier museums, the Canadian Museum for Human Rights. Within a couple of hours of the city is Grand Beach, a huge stretch of beautiful beach on the shore of Lake Winnipeg and White Shell Provincial Park, an area of boreal forests with lakes and rivers. People come here to camp, hike, or spend time at a cottage. Number 16. Revelstoke Revelstoke is one of the best places to visit in Canada for adventure. Although it's a favorite destination among Albertans and British Columbians, it is still undiscovered on an international scale, making it a good place to escape the crowds associated with sightseeing destinations like Banff and Lake Louis. Beautiful mountain scenery surrounds the small town in the interior of British Columbia, but much of the appeal comes from the activities available for outdoor lovers. In winter, skiers come here to enjoy the skiing at Revelstoke Mountain Resort or to go hill skiing in the Purcell Mountains. In summer, mountain biking and hiking are the most popular things to do. Nightlife here has been expanding over the last number of years. And you can find plenty of places to frequent after a day of skiing or hiking. Number 15. Kelowna In the interior of British Columbia is the lovely city of Kelowna. The city is a favorite spot for Canadians. Picturesquely set on the shore of Lake Okanagan and surrounded by rolling mountains, Kelowna draws tourists during the summer months when it's possible to hike, golf, or enjoy the lake. Renting a houseboat to explore the surrounding waters is a popular summer vacation in this area. In winter, the surrounding mountains are a hotspot for skiers, with the popular nearby ski resorts of Big White and Silver Star within easy reach. Number 14. Tofino The unofficial surfing capital of Canada, the small town of Tofino on Vancouver Island is one of the most unique places to visit in Canada and draws a mixed crowd of visitors. People come here to surf, hike in the old growth forest and enjoy the beaches in Pacific Rim National Park, see wildlife, kayak, storm watch in November and relax at one of the quaint oceanfront lodges. The town itself is tiny and has an end of the world type feel about it but you can find fine dining at some of the lodges or a few of the restaurants around town. A handful of stores, galleries, and coffee shops give the town a special character. Despite the town's small size, the area feels big. With so much to see and do, 
you will want to plan at least a few days here, although it's easy to fill up a week or more. Number 30. Charlottetown and Prince Edward Island If you are going to visit Charlottetown, you might as well take the time to explore the wall of province of Prince Edward Island. PEI is a summertime playground with beautiful beaches and interesting historic sites, including the fictional home of Anne of Green Gables in PEI National Park. Charlottetown is the capital and main city but has an almost small town feel. With numerous Victorian style heritage buildings, PEI is small enough that you can see the whole island on even a short vacation. Many visitors, particularly families, rent beach houses or cottages on PEI during the summer months. Number 12. Whistler Whistler has long been known as a world-class sky destination and was the site of many of the skiing events during the 2010 Winter Olympics hosted by Vancouver. Despite this reputation, Whistler is an equally impressive and popular summer destination with hiking, biking, golfing and many other activities on offer. The village has grown over the years and is now a vibrant, high-end resort town with a great selection of hotels, restaurants and shops. The Whistler Black Corn Mountains are famous for their incredible terrain and bringing skiers from around the world. The peak-to-peak -peak Gondela, which joins the two mountains, is an 11-minute, 4.4km long ride with spectacular views and is open to skiers or non-skiers year-round. Number 11. White Horse A visit to White Horse offers a chance to see life in Canada's far north. This is the capital of the Yukon and also a gateway to areas farther north, including Alaska and the beautiful Nahani National Park. The city's history dates back to the Klondike Gold Rush, when prospectors made their way through here on their road to Dawson City. Many of the city's attractions offer insight into the gold rush days and beyond the city limits are some beautiful natural areas to explore. If you're lucky, the night sky will come to life with a display of northern lights. Number 10. Quebec City Like Montreal, Quebec City is loaded with history and located in the French-speaking province of Quebec. This is a provincial capital and a city with history dating back to the early 1600s. The old buildings and curvings, cobble streets, make this one of Canada's most charming capital cities. One third the size of Montreal, Quebec City is also relatively small and easy to navigate. While summer is the busy season, the famous winter carnival, the Carnaval de Quebec, attracts huge crowds and is the city's most well-known event. Number 9. Halifax Halifax is a great city for anyone looking for an introduction to Canada's maritime provinces. The Halifax waterfront is the main tourist hub in the city particularly during the summer months with a few historic buildings and plenty of activity. Overlooking, the city is the Halifax Citadel National Historic Site, one of the city's main attractions. Outside the city are a number of small coastal villages that offer a good glimpse of life in the Maritimes. One of the most famous villages is Peggy's Cow, home to the most photographed lighthouse in the Maritimes. A little further afield are Lunenburg and Mahon Bay, also well worth a visit. Taking a day trip from Halifax is highly recommended. Number 8. Victoria British Columbia's beautiful capital city has a quaint small town atmosphere, perhaps due to its island location. Set at the southern tip of Vancouver Island, the city has a mild year-round climate 
with wet mild winters and warm glory summers. Views are stunning in every location. Looking out over the harbor, south over the Strait of Juan de Fuca to Washington State or across the mountains on mainland British Columbia. Most of the tourist activity is focused around Victoria's Inner Harbor where the Parliament buildings and the historic Empress Hotel are located. A stroll along the waterfront on a sunny day is gorgeous. Just outside the city center are beaches and lovely coastal areas as well as parks and hiking trails. Number 7. Ottawa As Canada's capital, Ottawa is home to some outstanding national museums and historic sites, as well as Parliament Hill, and it enjoys a beautiful setting along the Radio Canal. It is also a small city, making it easy to navigate and fun to explore. Summer is a wonderful time to visit, with a whole host of events held throughout the season, including the Tulip Festival in spring and the always lavish Canada Day celebrations on July 1st. In winter, when the weather is cold enough, the canal transforms into a 7.8 km long skating rink, and in February, the annual winter load celebrations draw huge crowds. There is no bad time to visit Ottawa, and it is only a few hours by car or train from Toronto. Number 6. St. John's in Canada's far eastern province of Newfoundland and Labrador is the historic and friendly city of St. John's. This is the main gateway for air travelers to the island of Newfoundland. But many people come simply to enjoy the city. Colorful buildings line the sloping streets that run along the hills, with views out over the harbor. The city also has numerous historic sites and attractions, including Signal Hill and George Street. But the real appeal is the vibrant atmosphere, the people and the maritime culture that make the city so unique from mainland Canada. Number 5. Banff The charming mountain town of Banff in the stunning Banff National Park is a must-visit destination for anyone looking to explore the Rocky Mountains and see some of the most beautiful scenery in Canada. This is undeniably a tourist town catering to international travelers from all over the globe. Just a short distance from the town are Lake Louis Sky Resort and Sunshine Village Ski Resort, two of Canada's best ski resorts. In summer, the nearby Turkish lakes, including Lake Louis and Glacier Cape Mountains are a glorious sight. But you don't even need to leave the town to enjoy a gondola ride to the top of a mountain. So, in a hot springs fed pool, find fabulous shopping, discover lovely walking trails, and possibly see elk and woodland caribou that frequently make their way into the town. Number 4. Montreal Montreal is a unique city with a beautiful old historic district dating back to the 1600s and a modern city center with extensive underground shopping. Old Montreal is the main tourist hub with cobbled streets and fantastic old buildings. Montreal is also home to a large number of fashion designers and high-end boutiques lying the historic streets. Along with quaint hotels and restaurants, Located in the French-speaking province of Quebec, Montreal has its own cultural identity. But English-speaking visitors will have no trouble communicating with anyone in the tourist industry. Number 3. Toronto As Canada's largest city, Toronto is the country's cultural hotspot with ballet opera, symphony, and Broadway shows. It's also home to the landmark CN Tower. Add extraordinary shopping, fine dining, and fantastic museums 
and there is no end to the entertainment. In recent years, Toronto's waterfront has experienced ongoing development and now boasts beautiful walking areas, restaurants and in summer, outdoor concerts and cultural performances. Just outside the city centre, in either direction from the city, are beautiful beaches, perfect on hot summer days. In winter, a public skating ring springs to life outside City Hall and unique winter events including the popular Winterlicious. Add to the fun you can find sky resorts near Toronto as well. Number 2. Niagara Falls Canada's most famous natural attraction, the majestic Niagara Falls, has been drawing sightseers almost since its discovery. The Great Wall of Water founding of the falls is an amazing sight, and the views access afforded with stairs is astounding. You can literally walk up to the edge of the falls, separated only by a cast iron railing, and see the water as it disappears over the crust. The city that has developed here, also named Niagara Falls, has been greatly influenced by the people and atmosphere the falls have created. Stuntmen and daredevils have been tempting their fate on the falls throughout the decades, and as a result, the carnival style atmosphere has come to define this unique city. Just a short drive from Toronto, Niagara Falls is easy to reach, and the city is a fun place to spend a day or two. Number 1. Vancouver For beauty, climate, a fun atmosphere, and plenty of things to do, you can't go wrong planning a trip to Vancouver. Set on the shores of Pacific Ocean and backed by snow-capped mountains, this is an active city where locals enjoy the outdoor years from. Sunbathers can bask on the beach in summer, and skiers can hit the nearby ski resort in winter. At any time of year, you can walk the seawall or stroll through the towering trees in Stanley Park. Enjoy fine dining or a casual meal while watching the sunset or find fabulous shopping from the markets of Grand Villa Island to the high-end shops in the city center. If you are spending more than a couple of days in the city and for some interesting outings, take a day trip from Vancouver to some of the nearby hotspots such as Whistler, Victoria, or some of the small towns in the mountains of Fraser Valley. Canada has something unique to offer every tourist. Make sure to visit all of these places once in your lifetime. If you're watching the channel for the first time, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification for more.